ओके वेलकम यू ऑल फॉर द सेशन थ्री ऑन डबल ले ऑफ सिंप्लेक्स लैप पॉइंटिंग डायग्राम सो इन द प्रीवियस सेशन वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट हाउ टू डेवलप अ सिंगल ले ऑफ सिंप्लेक्स लैप पॉइंटिंग डायग्राम बट इन टूडे सेशन वील बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट डबल ले ऑफ सिंप्लेक्स लैप पॉइंटिंग डायग्राम सो इन ऑर्डर टू एक्सप्लेन दिस कॉन्सेप्ट आई कम विथ an exercise problem 2 uh, draw the develop dc lap pointing diagram for the following data so that the data given or number of slots is 12 and p it is nothing but number of poles equals 4 and the type of the winding is double layer simplex lap pointing this is what the given data so for this data we need to develop a, a lap pointing diagram and the type of the winding is uh, a double layer okay a double layer simplex lap winding since it is a double layer so it means coil side is equals to 1 it is nothing but m is equals to 1 here and since it is simplex so if it is simplex the value of x is equals to what 1 clear so with this uh, first let us find out the total number of conductor it is not given total number of conductor z is equals to number of slots into coil side okay that is number of slots is equals to 12 and coil side or m that is equals to 12 into 2 24 we have 24 conductors and number of poles are given it is 4 therefore the pole pitch yp is equals to z by p that is 24 divided by 4 is uh, 6 and let us find out the back pitch and then front pitch by using these two equation yb plus yf equals 2yp yp is nothing but your 6 so 2 into 6 is 12 yb minus yf equals 2 into yc yc is nothing but x where x is equals to 1 therefore it is 2 if you solve these two equations you will be getting yb is equals to 7 and then yf is equals to 5 it means the back pitch is equals to 7 and then the front pitch is equals to 5 okay and here you can uh, observe that the difference between these two back pitch and front pitch is 2 you remember for actually it is simplex okay for simplex winding a lap winding the difference between yb and yf is always 2 if it if the winding is simplex then the difference between yb and then yf is always 2 for example in this case yb is equals to 7 yf is equals to 5 and the difference in this case is equals to 2 because it is simplex if in case if it is a duplex then the difference between yb and then yf is equals to 4 you will be getting the difference between yb back pitch and then front pitch is equals to 4 clear so let us go for the step 2 step 2 is all about uh, how to develop a winding table you know this very well so just how included here serial number to explain one thing in this problem you will be having 24 conductors okay so when we need to end this time table when uh, sorry winding table when you get one when you get one at the front pitch when actually you will be going to get one at the front pitch for example in this problem we will be having 12 conductors so all the conductors should cover in this winding table so for example here uh, in one winding table i will be going to cover 1 8 3 3 5 almost it means i should have 12 rows in the winding table 12 rows in the winding table why 12 rows because i have 24 conductors 24 divided by 2 if i have 12 rows then obviously i will be going to get one at the front pitch clear that's why i have included this serial number so no need to include the serial number in the winding table okay once again the number of rows rows in the winding table should be half of the conductors total number of conductors okay that is what that is where you can stop writing the winding table so back pitch is equals to 7 front pitch is equals to 5 1 plus 7 is equals to 8 8 minus 5 is equals to 3 and you keep on writing all this here you can see 19 plus 7 is equals to 26 but the total number of conductors what we have is 24 so 
ट्वेंटी सिक्स माइनस ट्वेंटी फोर इज इक्व टू टू क्लियर लाइक वाइज ट्वेंटी वन प्लस सेवन इज इक्व टू ट्वेंटी एट ट्वेंटी एट इन द सेंस ट्वेंटी एट माइनस फोर इज इक्व टू फोर ओके यर थर्टी माइनस फाइव इज इक्व टू ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी फाइव माइनस ट्वेंटी फोर इज इक्व टू वॉट वन क्लियर सो दिस इज वॉट यूर वाइंडिंग टेबल एंड सॉरी okay and uh, this is what your winding diagram you can see here uh, it is a double layer so what do you mean by double layer double layer means in a single slot we will be having two conductors right in a single slot we will be having two conductor that is why coil side is equals to 2 and uh, coming to the representation of conductors and visible conductor is rep is represented by a continuous line and invisible conductor is represented by a dotted line so in a single slot we will be having two conductor let us consider the first conductor and the second conductor on in single slot if the first conductor is visible then the second conductor is invisible that is why the first line is represented by using a continuous line and the second line it is an invisible conductor that is why it is drawn by using a dashed line again conductor 3 is visible 4 is invisible it is alternate visible and then invisible and one more thing this is the extension actually the extension from the continuous line should be a continuous line and the extension line from the dashed line should be a dashed line okay from this winding table you can see that 1 plus 7 is equals to 8 it means the first conductor is connected to the eighth conductor here it is connected right and at the front end at the front end 8 minus 5 is equals to 3 the eighth conductor is connected to the conductor number 3 Clear? Clear? The only difference in this is what? There are a dashed lines. That is the only difference. Okay, that is the only difference. Uh, and apart from that, the procedure will be the same. So let us discuss how to develop this drawing using a nano CAD tool. Okay, by using a nano CAD tool. Once you open this nano CAD. Uh, it will ask you to uh, it will ask this okay now uh, i will be going with uh, get started okay now i am getting started okay okay now it is ready let us have a grid sheet here by clicking on this and as usual uh, i will be make sure that all the components are selected select all and i have here i have a command window as you know very well the first step is to set the units right and it should be in millimeter okay it is in millimeter now let us draw a vertical line first point and uh, second point at 0 comma 100 it need not to be 100 it is left to you okay so here uh, it is left to you what should 100 mm is nothing but the length of this line so that is left to you so this is the visible conductor so in this problem i have 24 conductors clear so among 24 12 conductors are visible so another 12 conductors are invisible it means i should have 12 continuous lines and in between the continuous line i should have 12 dashed lines clear so for that i will select this line and i will go with an array and number of rows is equals to 1 and the number of columns the number of columns is equals to how much the number of columns should be equals to what the number of columns should be equals to what number of visible conductors so how many visible conductors are there 12 visible conductors so instead of giving 30 let us give 60 uh, i will be increasing this okay uh, otherwise instead of 60 okay 50 distance between the continuous line is 50 and then we have 12 visible conductors clear and in between these two lines i should have an uh, a dashed line that is what invisible conductor exactly at the center so for that 
what I will do, I will draw one line like this. I will connect end to end so that uh, it will show the midpoint of this. So from here to here, I will draw one vertical line. So I don't want these two reference lines now. Just I will delete. Okay. And this should be an invisible conductor. This is an invisible conductor. So invisible conductor means it should be represented by using a dashed line. So how to convert that into dashed line? So for that, you select this line. Okay, you select this line. Here you can see the properties. Clear? In this, you click on this by layer. Okay. So I have a by layer, by block, continuous line. But I don't have a dashed line in the library. So you need to load it first. So to load, click on this load. Okay. And then uh, in this n, uh, ncad in dot lin, you select that and then open. So in that the first option itself is a, a dashed line. So you can select and then OK. Now you can see the difference. Now this is the continuous line which represents visible conductor. And this is the invisible line, sorry, dashed line which represents invisible conductor now how many invisible conductors we have again i have 12 invisible conductors so for that number of one columns and column offset should be 50 okay it should be same it should be same now you can see i have 24 conductors among 24 12 are visible and then 12 are invisible conductors now let us name this Okay. there will be no rotation angle you name continuously no need to differentiate uh, visible and then invisible conductors okay sorry four five six to move the cursor you can use uh, space bar Okay, now I have 24 conductors. Now I need to connect, right? Connections. So in this, let us go for the winding table. Uh, here you can see the first conductor is connected to the conductor number 8 at back end. Okay, the first conductor and the first conductor is a visible conductor, a continuous line. As I already said, the extension from the continuous line should be, should be what? should be a continuous line okay the first this is the first point and the next point at uh, let us have a lengthy line at an angle of 45 okay right and uh, 1 plus 7 is equals to 8 this is the conductor 8 at 200 at an angle of 135 it is okay now let us trim out the unwanted portions control a and then trim by clicking on the unwanted portions now you can see here uh, this is the extension line for this and this is the extension line for the dashed line as i already said extension line for the dashed line should be a dashed line so this line should be a dashed one so here no need to go for load we already loaded it just you click on that okay this is what a backend connections and coming to the front end connection, the 8th conductor is connected to conductor number 3. The 8th conductor is connected to conductor number 3 <coughs> at the front end. Okay. So take a line, 8th conductor at 150 at an angle of minus 135 it is. Okay. Take one more line from the conductor number 3. 
an angle of minus 45 here okay now again remove the unwanted portions just trim it out and here this is the extension from the dashed line it should be converted into dashed one clear now i am ready with one back end and then one front end connections let us select the back end and then the front end connection go for array see uh, how many columns you, how many conductor you have 24 then how many turns you will be going to get turns number of turns is equal to number of conductors divided by 2 so 24 conductors divided by 2 is 12 and what is the column offset here remember what is the distance between the conductors here actually it is 25 not 50 you have mentioned 50 that was the distance between the two visible conductors so in between the visible conductors i have an invisible conductor right so it means the distance between the conductor in general whether it is visible or invisible forget about it the distance between the conductor is 25 so therefore here it should be twice the distance between the conductor it means 25 into 2 is 50 and total number of conductors are 24 that is divided by 2 that is it will be equal to number of turns it is 12 and then okay okay just uh, remove the extra portion and now let us go for copy and paste to have this at the left hand side you can use shift key okay likewise at the front end copy and you always select this as a base point so that it will be easy to paste okay right now the winding connections are ready okay now the next is to draw a commutator copy and paste now i'll be having a connection let us start from here so from where i should start can i connect this shall i connect this it is left to you but you should have 24 means you should have 12 uh, commutator segments okay Num commutator segment should be equal to z by 2 again it is nothing but your number of turns if you starts from here it will end somewhere here if it starts from here it will end from end here so to make it balance i will start from here okay this is the one and from the intersections up to here control a and uh, this is the unwanted portion now let me select these two and go for array rectangular array and again it is 12 again it is 50 okay now name the name this conductor sorry commutator segments one two Well, here not 13 again it is 1 because we have only how much uh, 12 commutator segments that is number of commutator segment is equals to z by 2 again okay now place the brushes what is the value of pole pitch we got the value of pole pitch here you can see the value of pole pitch is equals to how much 24 divided by 4 it is 6 clear 24 divided by 4 it is 6 the value of pole pitch is 6 it's it means each pole will cover 6 conductor 
so as i already said you just deselect all here okay so that uh, you can draw rectangle you draw the rectangle exactly at the center okay now this is the rectangle which covers six conductors right and uh, instead of drawing new rectangles use copy and paste so that uh, the size will be uniform and uh, while selecting you pick it from this point use shift key to place it horizontally okay then escape now the next is to remove the lines inside this rectangle so for that control a and then trim so likewise by click by clicking on the unwanted portion you can trim it out so we have four poles i have drawn four pole okay four rectangle so among this four pole uh, two or north pole and uh, two or south pole alternate in nature north north and south okay now let us mark the direction of the current as i already said under the north pole the direction of the current is towards the commutator segments clear so for that take a polyline now you can click on this uh, select all okay take a polyline and then the first point before that width uh, let us have 10 0 is the ending width okay fine now select the same go for an array how many conductors are under the same pole six conductors so it means it should be six and what is the distance between the lines actually it is 25 right now you select uh, all the six and go for copy you take it from this point so that it will be easy to place here Okay, now you have extra one, select it and uh, rotate this, okay, now I'll be copying this, copy exactly from the midpoint. Now we can remove this. Now here you can see I am ready with uh, the poles and then the direction of the induced EMF. The next step is to place the brushes. So now in a, I need to identify the position for the brushes. And uh, before that, in order to avoid the confusions here, what we do, we will name this extension also. Okay, we will name this extension also. It is just like a cylinder, uh, we know that uh, the windings are cylindrical in structure. So you cut the cylinder and then you are representing in the form of sheet. Okay, you have cutted that cylinder and you are representing the in the form of sheets. And these are the extensions. Okay, these are the extensions. So in order to name it, see, uh, let us go from here, sorry, from this, the 19th conductor is connected to which conductor 
it is a front end sorry back end right it is a top connection top connection is nothing but here you can see the 19th conductor is connected to conductor number 2 it means take a text this is the 19th conductor and uh, this is your conductor 2 and what about this 21 plus back pitch is 7 21 plus 7 is 28 but maximum conductors are 24 28 minus 24 it is 4 you can look it into the winding table also 23 plus 7 is 30 30 minus maximum number of conductor is 34 it is 6 clear the same way 2 is connected to 19 here here we have 2 2 is connected to 19 and 4 is connected to 21 and uh, 6 is connected to 23 right and what about at the front end in the front end you can see 21 okay 21 is connected to which conductor at the front end let us go here this is what front one 21 is connected to 26 26 is nothing but the conductor number 2 the 21 is connected to 26 so uh, we know that 26 is nothing but the conductor 2 clear so this is the conductor which comes from 21 it is connected to which conductor 2 and this is obviously 4 and this is the 2 conductor from the 2 it is connected to 21 this is 21 and obviously this is 23 clear now it now it will be easy to place the brushes here so let us trace commutator segment 2 in the first commutator segment uh, the two conductors are connected the one conductor for the, is conductor number 4 the other conductor is conductor number 23 so the fourth conductor it is under the influence of north pole or what about 23rd conductor the 23rd conductor is under the south pole it means obviously the direction of the current will be different because the fourth conductor is under the north pole and the 23rd conductor is under the south pole then the direction of the current obviously in the opposite directions right it is not same it means i cannot place the brush at commutator 2 let us go for commutator 3 in commutator 3 the two conductors the conductor 1 and then the conductor 6 are connected okay conductor 1 and then conductor 6 are connected and you can observe the direction of the current it is same right if it is same what we can do we can place the brush here okay sorry the rectangle should not come out uh, from the commutator it should be less than or equals to the width of the commutator segment okay and the direction of the current is towards if it is towards means it is positive we already know that and then what about commutator 4 can i place no i cannot one is under the north pole and another one another conductor is under the south pole again in the five i cannot but observe this commutator number six both are under the south pole so i can place the brush so copy and paste and in 7 I cannot, 8 I cannot, in 9 yes I can place 10, no, 11, yes 12. Okay, as I already said we will be having only 4 poles in case of flap winding. Okay, sorry 4 brushes in case of flap winding, clear. And uh, which is positive and then which is negative. This is positive because the current direction is towards commutator segment, right. excuse me this is positive what about this this is what negative because the current direction is away from the commutator segment okay this is positive and again this is negative okay now let us short positive and positive
every positive should be connected with positive okay and uh, write the terminals terminals are represented by a circle copy and you pick it from this point so that it will be easy to place okay and uh, the 